This child's face badly bruised, and tonight two employees of Buckeye Ranch fired after allegedly assaulting him. Grove City Police say the workers used excessive force when trying to restrain the boy. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Jerry Revish. And I'm Kristen Hartman. Tonight, that boy and his mother are speaking exclusively with 10 TV's Ashley Berry. And Ashley, she says this case was extra worrisome to her because her son already had a traumatic brain injury. Absolutely. She says she's devastated by this news. In fact, that child's mother says he fell off a balcony when he was just three years old and hit a concrete block and says Buckeye Ranch was a place for him to help care for. Until she says she received a phone call last week that his caregivers may have caused him harm. It wasn't just a mark on his face. Arlena asked us to only use her first name to protect the identity of her son Anthony, a 14-year-old boy who she says sustained serious soft tissue damage after being assaulted by two adult men. I trusted them with my son. I took my son there to get help for him. Grove City Police say the two men, 27-year-old Robert Hoover and 42-year-old Walter Hooks, were employed at Buckeye Ranch when the incident allegedly occurred last week. Anthony's mother says he has a traumatic brain injury already and that he's a partial custodial student there at Buckeye Ranch to care for his needs. Last Thursday, according to the police report, Anthony was trying to harm himself with a string around his neck when the two men intervened. Anthony tells 10TV that's when the men ran him into a wall head first, causing the injuries. Tell us what kind of things you were thinking, I mean, especially when you hit your head and it hurt. I was feeling like sad because I just wanted to see my mom. Police tell us surveillance video shows that the two employees used excessive force when trying to restrain Anthony. The president and CEO of Buckeye Ranch told 10TV, quote, this is an incredibly unfortunate situation. Both employees were suspended immediately following the incident and terminated this morning. Their behavior was in violation of our policy on how staff members are trained to restrain a child. As for Anthony's mother, she has this to say to the accused. I trusted you with my son and I put my son in your hands to care for him, not to hurt him. And Arlena tells us she's now going through the process of removing her son from Buckeye Ranch. Employees there, meantime, tell us they're conducting their own investigation. The surveillance video of the alleged incident is being reviewed by the prosecutor's office. Live in the studio, Ashley Berry, 10TV News.